What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's DJ. Today we have a big video. I'm going to show you how to get some free card or free stuff at EB Games in Australia. And I've also got a booster pack, art set slash investment to show. We also have some packs to open. Finally, I haven't really opened up some packs in a while, so I'm excited, excited to do it. And guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit the like button and subscribe. Make sure you do follow me on my Insta and all that jazz. Uh, I do plenty of Pokemon content on this channel, including giveaways, pack openings, and investment informational videos. So if you like Pokemon, you're gonna like it here. Cue that intro, let's get this thing started. Alrighty guys, first things first, we're gonna show you the free card that I just got from EB Games. It is the Snorlax VMAX Jumbo card. Really cool. You can only get this from EB Games in Australia. I think you can get it from GameStop in America. Uh, it comes with a free Pokemon binder as well, which is just over here. So this holds Jumbo cards, which is pretty cool. The Jumbo cards it holds are only from Sword and Shield expansions, not from prior sets like my old ones, which I can show you in just a second. So that's what it looks like. Finally, I have something that I can put some jumbos in. Um, I don't know how many pages it has, but in order to get something like this from EB Games or I think GameStop in America, you'd have to spend $20 on TCG at EB Games or GameStop uh, and they give this to you guys for free. So I'm gonna open this up and see how he fits inside the binder. All right, guys, so it fits perfectly in the sleeve. Now, I did ask the lady at the store how long this was gonna go for, and she said she didn't know. Um, she said they're just gonna keep doing it until they run out, I guess. So I guess if I went there again tomorrow, they'd still have it, and I can buy, you know, another $20 worth of TCG and then get another one of this, and. You know, I think it's a, a decent deal, especially if you're getting like something really cheap. Um, getting this binder, I'd say this binder is like at least five to ten dollars worth. Um, pretty cool. Like if you had a, a ton of them, you could sell them for five to ten dollars and make something out of it. Otherwise, it's pretty good for a collector who collects jumbos. And let's show you some of those just real quick. So guys, you've probably seen this before, but my older jumbos, I've just have in like plastic pockets and I'd like an actual binder to hold them. Uh, and it's starting to get a little out of hand. I got a few from various different sets. So, um, and they're all mixed. So I'd like to have a binder for these ones, but for now, I guess I'll keep them in here. They don't really fit. They're too big for um, that new binder. That might be able to go in. I haven't really sussed it out yet, but yeah. Anyway, back to the actual video. All right, so next up guys, we have Double Crisis Booster Pack art set to show. Really cool. This is one of the last art sets I need for X and Y for me to finish my X and Y booster art investment slash collection. Really interesting set, Double Crisis. <laughs> the artwork is pretty cool on both packs. Um, seven additional game cards. Now, if you notice that, I noticed it late as well. Usually it's like 10 or 11, but this one's rather small. I think reason being is because the set is really small. It has 34 cards in the set only. Quite, like, probably one of the smallest sets I know of, uh, in English especially. This, was, this came out in March 15, 2015, so five years ago, and well, the two main cards out of 34, I guess, would be Team Aqua Kyogre EX and Team Magma Groudon EX, which is kind of on the pack arts, as you see. Uh, not exactly like that, but the cards will be on the screen for you guys. And I think they fetch a pretty penny PSA 10. Um, so, yeah, I, I think those two cards are really cool in the set. Um, I want you guys to guess what is the last booster pack art set 
that I need to complete X and Y. If you guess correctly, I will give you a shout out in my next video, which I will show, I think, my XY complete booster pack art set because I will have it by the time I make that video. Now, we're gonna open up some packs. About time, you say. All right. We got two Cosmic Eclipse booster packs and we have a Snorlax pin collection. Now, this is what I bought in order for me to get the free binder with the jumbo card. So, uh, if you, I spent about maybe $40 um, to get this. You can, obviously, I could have just bought $20 worth and then come back the next day and get another $20 and get another binder, but I'm not really, I probably won't do it. I, I won't go there again. Uh, I only went there for the binder and the, the Jumbo Snorlax VMAX free card. Who doesn't like free stuff? So that is what I got. So just two random Cosmic Eclipse and that Snorlax pin collection. So let's start off with Cosmic Eclipse and move to the pin collection. Hopefully you guys have liked the video, so give me some luck for the pulls. Last time I bought some random packs from EB, uh, I was lucky enough to pull some something decent. It's the code card, one, two, three, quattro. All right. Now I really miss opening up packs, guys. So hopefully we get something cool. We got Probo Pass, Igly Buff, Tripinch, try pinching me, and an Oddish, a Rufflet, Piplup, a Lone Vulpix, Cosmog, Reverse, and a Trevenant regular rare. Now, Cosmic Eclipse booster boxes have gone up in price too, so I, chances are I probably won't open up another one on the channel. I have opened up a Cosmic Eclipse booster box before, and that was probably during Christmas time. Time flies when you're having fun now. There's the code, one, two, three, quattro. Let's do this. As a collector, um, you know, I don't really mind getting some bad pulls as long as the cards themselves I don't have in my binders. Uh, I've kind of, haven't really sold much out of my binders. Um, it's hard for me to let go of. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just trying to sell other things. So Cosmog, <laughs> what the heck? We got two Cosmog reverses in the two Cosmic Eclipses. And they're both different ones, right? One is 99 and this one is 100. What are the chances? Wow, Chansey must be loving it. Polar Sand is a regular rare. All right, so not so great pulls from there, but we're gonna open up the Snorlax pin collection. And yeah, I've got a few investment idea videos that I, I plan on making in the near future, so. Definitely stick around if you like that kind of thing. Here is the code card for the pin collection box. We got one, two, three packs. That is so random to get a sun and moon, but I don't mind. Here is the pin, the Snorlax pin. Not too shabby. What's that on his face? Is that actually there? It is. It's meant to be a crumb on his face. How cool. All right, the promo card is bent as per usual, so something I won't be able to grade, but I do like promos, and I do collect them in my binder. So that's gonna, it's just gonna go straight in there. I don't really mind if I can't grade it. Not a bad artwork, not a bad sparkle to it. Uh, I think if you get all the promo cards all in one binder, it look really cool. Anyway, let's get the Sun and Moon booster pack out of the way. And I know I haven't done much pack openings as of late, but if you guys want to see some more pack openings, just let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll see if I can get some more packs to open on the channel. We got four to the front, Sun and Moon. All right, we got Energy. We got Baldor, Lily Pad, Metapod. Claymation style, Stuffle, Wingle, Dratini, Lillipops, Bon Sweet, is that French? Cloister, that's a reverse rare as well, not bad. I think I have it, but pretty mean looking card. 
and a beware. I guess that's the problem with opening up some of the older sets, especially uh, if you've opened up a lot of them. Chances are you're not going to get the cards that you want. It's probably best to just get the singles. But um, we'll see what we get out of Sword and Shield. I didn't really open up too many Sword and Shield packs, so we shall see. Four to the front. Electric type 88. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Man time, we got Dotler, we got Corvus Square Looks like Skarmory a little bit. Minchino, Cappuccino, Galarian Ponita, not a bad looking Pokemon. Bunny, Score Bunny, Silly Cobra, and a Marnie Reverse Rare. I'm not too sure if, there's, if that's still valuable or not. I know Marnie. There's a money uh, full art. I think that's pretty valuable. Actually, not too bad. All right, we got a mud sale, regular rare. All right, it's a, uh, it's so so. It's a so so pack. <laughs> All right, last pack. They've technically been old duds. Nothing. No white and green codes today, guys. All green. That is shocker. Maybe this is why I stopped opening up packs in a while. Ooh, that, the red in real life actually looks really dark, but on camera it looks like Dotla, Galarian Stunfisk, Robot, Skrippy, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, not a bad artwork there, Sinistia, Lapras, Reverse, and it's a Reverse Rare. Alright, got a few Reverse Rares, and a Cramoran. Don't make me rant about the bad pulls. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is all. Make sure you do check out that deal. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I reckon that's just a cool deal that you get for free. You get a free binder and a free jumbo card when you spend $20 or more at EB Games and I think at GameStop in America. I'm not sure if they have something in London or in England. I know a lot of you guys come from there too, so... Uh, I didn't really research, but hopefully you guys have something. Uh, anyway guys, make sure you do like the video, and I'll see you in two, maybe three days time. I'm working a little bit more than usual, so uh, I hope it's two days time, but it could be three, so please don't hate. Anyway guys, enter the Booster Box giveaway. I'll see you next time. <laughs>